It's day 68. Let's get this dude open and get back to it. Who's ready to go see what kind of mischief we can get into today? Well, welcome back everybody. It is old Big Mike back out here in the Hoopty Barn again with the Blue Goose. The old 31 Plymouth. We are back on our series. 90 to nothing with day 68. Tick, 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 tick. That clock's ticking. So we are back on, I know, wiring. We still got some more to do. So yesterday, I think, showed you I got my headlights wired in. Put these temporary turn signals up here. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna stick with that. I got my voltage regulator, that vacuum block up there, and some grounds. And we got some puffiness coming out of here. And yeah. So why why in the world would I do that? Well, in my crazy cranium, just the way my brain works, I'm thinking with all them sharp edges where I cut all that stuff out, I don't want this thing flopping around. I don't want it slicing through any of my wires. And I figure if I've got it, and it's solid now, if I've got it solid in there, it's not going to scooch around and cut through any of my insulation. And it's going to keep it right there where it belongs. So hopefully I don't have to pull it back out because if I do, i got a bunch of foam to cut through. But <clears throat> that being said, I'm going to uh, work on getting some of that stuff pushed to the side, get my <clears throat> um, fuse box somehow mounted over here, but I don't know how yet because this is single wall metal that goes right out through the body. So I still got to figure out how I'm going to do that. I may have to put something off of this pillar here. I'm not sure really, but that's the fun of hoopty, right? And uh, another thing I do know I have to do is my headlight switch is here. That's my headlight switch. So that's definitely not long enough to get up here. So I'm going to have to splice all those wires to get my headlight switch up here under the dash or in the dash I'm not sure yet have to see what I got to work with over here on my actual dash cover I'll probably try to put it right there so anyway oh we got some work to do so I'm gonna get into it and um, I'll stop in when I got some progress to show you so who's ready to learn some hoopty method on wiring all right so this is my old gauge cluster out of the d250 see here you can see it got my you know tamp and battery and all that and oil and fuel so if you look on the back here how it's got all these circuits that go across here this is how i keep my wiring straight because i don't like having to chase everything down with a voltmeter and all that stuff and try and figure out what's hot and what goes to what so what i do i take the plug here the original plug i line it up i figure each part where each pin goes to so this one here is hot to the dash light that's this one hot to the dash light this one is hot to the voltage meter 
in there. So, and it's a red wire. Hot to the voltmeter. Hot to the dash. Ground to the voltmeter, the black one. Hot to the dash light, hot to the dash light. So, I know I'm not going to need all those dash lights, but I might. You never know. I might want to put some little light bulbs in the dash there. Or, I might need a hot wire to an accessory or something like that. But, that right there is how I keep that all straight. I'll do the same thing on this pin set over here for the fuel and temperature. So, there it is. You know, not much, but that's kind of how I hoop do things. Alright, well, so, I know it ain't going to seem like much progress, but it's some progress. So, when I showed you this, well, I got this other switch, well, the other plug, done the same way. I did get over here, got my resistor cut through and screwed in, and I got my fuse box glued in. Yeah, it's glued in because, believe it or not, that black RTV is more than just for gaskets. It makes really good glue for stuff like that. Anyway, so now I got everything over there. I do still got to extend my headlight switch wires. I got to extend all those. And I did get my, this is for my dome lights in my doors. Got the other one over here. I'm going to have to put my dimmer switch all the way back here because when I close that in, well, I ain't going to be able to do that. And I went ahead and ran all of my uh, harness for the tail lights and all that. I got it run through the frame all the way up to the front. And I got it plugged in where it goes, which is up there somewhere. Anyway, like I said, don't seem like a whole lot, but it's a lot when you're doing it. So, I'm going to have to leave it right there for the day. Cause I'm hot. I'm tired. And I've uh, been bending and twisting and all that stuff. And i got to go talk to a feller about something. So, anyway, do me a favor. If you ain't subscribed, go ahead and do it. It's free. It don't cost you nothing. Except a little bit of... I don't know, one of them. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And uh, hit that notification bell so you can see when my next video comes out, which will be day 67 tomorrow. Whew. And uh, till next time, y'all keep watching. You know I'm going to keep working.